Good afternoon and welcome to live coverage of the 2017 BWF China Masters. I'm Bobby Griffin and you join us in Changzhou, a city with a population of over four and a half million in the southern Jiangsu province of China. Extending northwest of Shanghai, we're at the Olympic Sports Center, which once again plays host to the China Masters. It's the sixth Grand Prix goal of the 2017 calendar which sees 14 events in total starting in Cebu back in January and ending with the Indonesian Masters this coming December. It's semi-finals day here. We kick things off with both mixed double semis, the first of which sees China's Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping take on Indonesia's Hafiz Faisal and Sheila Devi Olia. The second sees crowd favourite Zhang Nan and Li Jinhui face Taipei's Liao Manchun and Chen Xiao Huan. Next up in the men's singles, it's everybody's favourite, the Chinese superstar Lin Dan. He'll be looking to take his sixth gold here at the China Masters. He's up against teammate Xiao Bin. The women's singles features Gao Fangxi, who will be doing everything she can to stop the current run of form that Aya Ohori of Japan is in, and finally in the men's doubles, Chen Hungling and Wang Chi Lin of Taipei, the number one seeds, take on Indonesia's Hendra Setiawan, who partners the Malaysian Tan Boon Hyong. So our first match up, the mixed doubles, players making their way to the court now. Is Wang Yilu and Huang Dongping of China. And they face Hafiz Faisal and Sheila Devi Olia of Indonesia. All four players not that long out of junior badminton in their early 20s. going to be a fascinating prospect in this first mixed doubles the Chinese players have both partnered different people over the last year or two red, black red black yeah. Yeah. I think red. their world ranking quite reflects yeah. their potential on court here today so so one don't go and who is going to receive yeah you can select side which side you want that's all okay so the Chinese pair win the toss. It looks as though Huang Dongping will be serving first. And the Indonesians will start the match at the far side of the court, top of your screens at home. Let's take a look at this pair from China, Huang Dongping, the 22-year-old from Fujian. She and her partner Wang Yilu currently ranked 38 in the world. As I mentioned, they've had different partners over the last 12 months. They keep chopping and changing, such as the strength in depth of Chinese mixed doubles. Both of these players have featured within the world's top 20, although currently as a pair ranked 38. The Indonesians then, Sheila Devi Olia, also 22 years of old from Bekasi in Indonesia. And her partner Hafiz Faisal. Age 22 from Jakarta. They're ranked 27 in the world at the moment.
and both of these pairs have been on a tremendous run of form this week. Neither have dropped a game to date. And although all of them are 22 <laughs> years of age, this is the first time they've actually met in competition. Largely, of course, the Chinese pair haven't been playing together all that long. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wang Yilu and Huang Dongbing, China. And on my left, our umpire for today, Hafiz Faisal and Sheila Aulia, Mr. Indonesia. Chathiranga from Sri Lanka, and supported in Hafiz the service Faisal, judge chair by Miss Lawal, Shui Ying play. from China. And it's Huang oh! Dong Ping to get us underway. Service over, one low. Great cross drive from Hafiz no. Faisal spotting the open space. No. No. Oh, looking in full control very early on in this match, the Indonesians. Smash Faisal straight into the body of Huang Dongping. She'll need just a few minutes to get used to the pace of that smash. And again, that forehand cross drive from Faisal. Finding the open space, a little frustration on the face of the Chinese doubles coach. Great start, Indonesia. Oh. Yeah, better return of serve from Wang Yilu. Dong Ping with a backhand drive of her own, finding that space. Good deception, that hold at the net. And again, Huang Dong Ping, the error in defence. Just not quite timing that block. Once again, Nine, two. Huang Dong Ping looking frustrated. Her body language suggests she's not happy with how she's started this match so far. Last year's quarter finalist, Huang Dong Ping, she was playing with Huang Kaixiang at the time. 
they came undone, losing to their teammates, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. In the quarterfinals here last year. Well, that service fault from Wang Yilu. Gives the Indonesians a seven-point lead, a great start for them in this semi-final. Yeah, that's better. This game, a real battle of mid-court driving at the moment, other than the few errors in defence of Huang Dongping. Great bit of skill of the net from Faisal. And that net cord from Sheila Olia. Helping the Indonesians reach the mid-game interval. They're 11-4 up. Oh, great touch. And not a good start at all for the Chinese so far. Certainly not quite living up to some of the form they've been in in the last six months. They made the quarter final of the All England last month, perhaps their highest ranking points to date as a pair, this Chinese partnership. Similar result in the Denmark Open in the autumn of last year. 11-4, play. They'll need to regain that kind of form if they're to overcome this Indonesian pair here today. Attack and defence from Faisal with the error with the net kill. Such a shame. Great slow drop, but Huang Dongping just able to get a racket onto it and push it back over the net. push into the body so effective this Chinese pair really need to get onto the attack if they're to win this game they're struggling in defense at the moment Hafiz Faisal looking far too solid at the back of the court the Chinese just need to find some space to get that lift and get on the attack yeah, brilliant control, quite dumping. We all expected the doubles next, just a simple push. That hold and then drive into the rear court. Too good. Oh. Oh. Yeah, great attacking play again from Faisal. Service over, 13 8. Aiming those smashes right into the hip every time of Huang Dongping. And Sheila Olia jumping straight on the weak reply. Oh! You see 
Messi there once again. Faisal refusing to straight smash at Wang Ilu. Opting for the slower drop to middle. Just laying it off to get a different attack and put pressure back on Huang Dongping if he can. Chinese closing the gap though, 9-13. Judgment, what a lift. Faisal questioning the call, but even from here it looked good. Some good skill and deception so far in this opening game from both pairs. Again, such a weak defensive shot from Huang Dongping. She really is struggling out here today. No surprise, the Indonesians aiming their attack directly into her body every time. Great anticipation, Huang Dongping this time in attack. That push of the net right into the body of Faisal. Very difficult to return. And somehow the Chinese are back to within two points. Second lift, he started the rally around the head. Keep the attack, but... They squandered a couple opportunities in the last four or five points. Squander the opportunity once again and put it into the net. There you go, rackets on the floor, no way to defend. Smiles on her face. She got away with that one. Well, they had a seven or eight point lead earlier on in this game. Somehow the Chinese have clawed their way back. The Indonesians will be deeply disappointed if they don't take this opening game. South body from the midcourt. Very clever play. Oh, that's better from Wang Yilu. 
back it up early. 16, 14. Keeping the pressure on, keeping the shuttle going down. Well, what a turnaround in this game. Position around that slice drop from Huang Dong Ping catching Olia by surprise. And she steps forward, rushes the net to play the kill. Unbelievably, it's China in front with a three point lead now. Backhand drifting wide. Service over 15 17. Oh. Better defense from Wang Ilu. Oh. Just turning that block away from. Great defence from both pairs, but it's China in the last five minutes or so that have been able to seize the opportunities first. Pressure getting to Hafiz Faisal. The Chinese somehow with a four point lead, 19 15. Oh, miscommunication between the Chinese now, though. For me, the Indonesians really need to take this opening game if they're to stand a chance in this match after that lead and against not just their Chinese opposition but this entire crowd I can't see a way back for the Indonesians later on in this match maybe I'm wrong let's see what happens such a lead early on in this opening game it's going to be a real turnaround if the Indonesians can come back into this match after well something of a disaster the second half of that opening game from an 11-4 lead to lose that 21-16 Tapi lu harus mau kerja keras semua boleh dikasihnya ke lu semua. Dikasih satu-satunya ke situ, Tong. Ya, harus mau capek sedihnya mau capek. Udah lu modal nekat aja kan. Sudah udah banyak mikir udah. Ya. Lagi lu lagi dinding-dinding ini kasih dimati sama dia. Ya. Makanya boleh jadi berat. Di saat berat lu aja biasa, lu aja enggak mau atau susah, Tong. Ya. Mau enggak mau lu harus susah. Setengahnya udah ditungguin. Lu kan bukan setengah sekali-sekali ngelet. Kalau enggak ya sekali buka juga enggak apa-apa, buka. Sudah kecowok. 
dari salah servis lu nya rapat setengah lu nya ragu-ragu yakin dong tangan lu kuat kan lu bisa ngedrive ngedrive yakin dong <tuh> siap ul Well, the history of this tournament just full of interesting statistics. Seven game, low wall. One of my favourites is the fact that no other nation apart from the Chinese have won the mixed doubles title here at the China Masters. We've got two Chinese mixed doubles pairs in the semi-finals today. Including Zhang Nan, the man that needs no introduction in men's or mixed doubles coming up next, our next semi-final. And the way these two are playing at the moment might suggest an all-Chinese final here tomorrow. We'll see how this one unfolds. Olia. Very precise attacking. Good flick serve, Sheila, Devi, Olia questioning with the umpire whether the flick serve was illegal. The racket does seem to be moving in an upwards direction before he plays, but no complaints from the service judge. seem to have the confidence to try to hit through Wang Ilu. Just going for that drop to middle, that straight drop. One too many times, perhaps. And in contrast to the opening game, it's the Chinese with a five-point lead early on in the second. seemingly running out of ideas in attack. Ooh. Yeah, that's better pressure back into the body of Wang Dongping. Strategy that was so effective early on in the opening game. Oh. 
Yeah, this time the service fault called for the Indonesians. Judged to have been too high. speed of movement enough to force the error from Faisal Tong Ping ready and waiting to jump on any loose shot at the net to control that backhand. Oh, brilliant. The return of serve from Dong Ping really put the pressure on. And a lesson in mixed doubles, rack it up early. Not gambling on the reply, but just waiting. Maintaining the pressure, good finish. Service over, four, A couple of errors from the Chinese pair. Gives the Indonesians a little bit of hope. Still five points behind. Oh, a great backhand from Wang Ilu taking it so early. And just brushing across the feathers to bring it down steep. Frustration still. In the Indonesians. Well, there was definitely some instructions to keep it away from the mid-court by the looks of it. You know, losing that battle at the moment. It looks like the advice was to get it deep into the rear corners. Wang Ilu of China just seemed to have control taking it early. shot she'd make in training every day but just the pressure of the situation trying to play the perfect shot perhaps trying to find that line yeah that's better 
keeping the attack once again on Huang Dongping. It was Olia taking it early that got the weaker lift her partner wanted. defense from the Chinese those smashes from Faisal oh what a shame well another great rally despite the battle cries from Hafiz Faisal the Chinese able to absorb that pressure turn things around in the end Faisal didn't quite have the touch required to scrape that back over the net. Well, nine points, the lead, one game up. And then Indonesians just slowing things down in the return of serve. Oh! Yeah, good smash, Wang Ilu. Oh, they are not quite able to control the lift. Well, it looks like a totally different match compared to the first half of the first game. Oh, what a shot from Huang Dongping. The forehand slice drop, taking the pace off. The angle just perfect, landing just inside that line. See Faisal not quite in position, his feet too narrow. He couldn't get himself back over to pick up that drop shot. The Indonesians trying to hold their own in the midcourt, trying to maintain the attack, but the Chinese have just been too good. Too strong covering that net. Uh, Huang Dongping gambling on the cross smash. Moving to her right, leaving the gap in the middle. Still with a 10-point lead, just three points from victory in this semi-final. And Huang Dongping looking full of confidence. Just that hold on return of serve, turning the shuttle back across the court. 
Good use of the deception. And that error in return of serve gives the Chinese their first match point, and it's the only one they need. Well, what a change around. The Indonesians for half a game at the start of this match looking in full control. But since that mid-game interval, it's just been one-way one traffic. And in the end, Huang Yilu and Huang Dongping showing their class and looking in total dominance. Taking this semi-final 21-16. 21-8 and giving themselves a spot in tomorrow's mixed doubles final. dominant display in the end for the Chinese it seems the Indonesians did reread the script no other nation has ever won the mixed doubles here at the China Masters and we've got a second mixed doubles semi-final for you next man that needs no introduction Zhang Nan of China playing with Li Yinwei